Oh, Miyazaki, you're so talented. Sam, what's my schedule like today? Uh, well, Ben, you have a 5 o'clock manicure, a 3 o'clock friend in the Trump Tower in New York City to help increase chances of protests against Donald Trump becoming president of the United States, a uh, 2 o'clock preparation for your next season of Family Movie Collaboration. Yeah, my new look should be here at any minute now. And we have a 1 o'clock episode of our Adventures with Thomas Way of Trainway 54. The same guy who was in the Stepney the Blue Bell Engine trilogy alongside D. Coming H and Ico Jones 3? Yep. But I was told we were getting Ken Fordell this weekend. No, we aren't. Alright. We know the drill, Sam. Bring him up. Very well then, then. Oh, come on! Dang it! I was so close! Oh, hey, Sam and Ben! Oh, I don't mind that. I usually do that in my spare time. Okay, whatever you say. So, John, you up for another episode of our adventures with Thomas? Oh, is that the reason why you two opened up your direct video TV to me? Our what? You know, the video we see of each other for when we do cameos or crossovers like this? What the heck? No, 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 I don't think we like this. Yeah, let's go back to the normal shots. Oh, fine. You know, that's really something we really could have gone without seeing. Ever. You're welcome. Oh, and John, I must ask, where did the cameras go during those shots? Well, obviously, we had to pick the cameras up and move them over to a different shot. It's not a little bit too... Meta for just a simple- The pit was already too mega! Stop over mega in it! Sam and I haven't done anything mega! What's meta? Boy, people these days. It's time for today's episode! In summer, the island of Sodor gleams in the sun and every station is filled with flowers. Phew, what a day! Yeah, I'm not sure if I can handle the smell of fish any longer. Yeah, alright Percy, it's time for us to go home. Can I have a wash down first? Oh, we would love to give you one, Percy, but there isn't time. The fat controller is waiting for us at the sheds. I wonder what he wants anyway. Who knows? There is to be a festival of flowers, announced the Fat Controller. This sign saying best rest station will be awarded to the winner. Please help with the arrangements. A festival of flowers with the winning station be awarded at best rest station? How exciting is that? I know, right? But whose station is everyone preparing for the festival? My favorite station is Fafarqua, said Thomas. Mine's Maithwaite, said Toby. Percy, what's yours? Percy was too tired to think properly. The docks, he murmured. Huh, sniffed Thomas. We can tell. Yeah, we didn't have the time to get Percy a wash down tonight because it was getting late. Yeah, and Percy, you do know that the docks are full of fish, not flowers. All right then, Allsdale End, said Percy. That's my home, replied Toby. That's why I like it, especially when you're there and not here saying I'm silly. Um, Percy, doesn't that technically mean you might be in concentration for the fact of being rather... jealous? Good night. Don't worry about Percy, Sam. He's just a little bit tired from all that hard work. Almost a lot of us sort of do that all the time. I know that, Ben, but it doesn't excuse for the fact that maybe you couldn't be a little bit jealous. You know, like Gordon did it back in episode 41. Yeah, come on, Sam. We better get some shug eye for the night. We've got a lot of work to do tomorrow morning. <sighs> Maybe you're right, Ben. Hopefully tomorrow will be the day we get everything prepped up for the Festival of Flowers. 
Next morning, Percy was proud to be sparkling again. His train of trucks were being loaded with vegetables and flowers. Wow, those trucks full of vegetables and flowers look beautiful. Yep, they sure do. I wonder where they are for. These are for Maithwaite. They'll display them on the platform. Hey John, long time no see. What are you doing here? I'm here to help with the preparations for the Festival of Flowers. And upon hearing the news that you two are going to help out as well, I thought it makes sense if I tag along with you to help out with the preparations. Sweet! I guess it makes sense if we have someone else to help out with the preparations for the Festival of Flowers, but still, with you around, John, we will get things done as quickly as possible. You know, it's almost as cosmical since you and John got hate on YouTube back in the summer of 2012. Hey, I thought we agreed to never mention that ever again, Sam! Sorry. On the way... Why is Harold buzzing about, he puffed. I haven't time for a race today. Oh, don't worry, Percy. He's not. He's just on the lookout for anything on the line. Isn't that what he does anyway? Oh, yes. He might be right. I sure hope nothing can get in front of the line. Oh, you mean like this ramp that is right in front of us? Yes, John. That's exactly what I'm referring to in the third play. Oh, my gosh! A ramp on the line! Wait, how did that ram get onto the line in the first place? Yeah, it's blocking our path, and it can't get out of the way. Now we'll be late. I should have known that Harold was trying to tell us something. Well, looks like we might need to figure out some way to get the ram off the track. Anyone got any ideas? Well, I can get the ram my DVD copy of the Michael Bay Ninja Turtles movie. Wait, you like Michael Bay Ninja Turtles movie? Yeah, but still, don't get me wrong, it's stupid and ridiculous, a lot like every other Michael Bay movie. With the exception of the Transformers movies? True, but I think it's still fun to watch. Okay, that won't work. Anyone else got any ideas? Other than throwing out another DVD copy of a Michael Bay movie? I got just something to get that ram off the track. What might that be? Well, give the ram some F-O-O-D. Finding overhauls over dogs. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. We'll give the ram one of the vegetables that is loaded onto our trucks. Good idea, John. The ram chomped happily away. Phew! Glad that that problem is solved. Please, can we go now? Oh yeah, we almost forgot. We gotta get these trucks delivered to Maithway. Let's go! <sighs> Sorry we're late. We were just about to arrive with the flowers and vegetables. But a ram blocked our path. But we managed to get it to move out of the way. Do you know anything about it? He's always hungry. Well, do you suppose you can keep a close eye on him to make sure nothing bad happens around here? A little while later, the station was decked with flowers. Wow! The station looks... fantastic! Just like the way we've set it up. Maithwaite will definitely win first prize, decided Percy. Oh, 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 oh. you bet well, Percy. With all the hard work being put into this, what could possibly go wrong? Time for a snooze, he thought. Alright, though in the meantime, I'm gonna catch up on the latest episode of the Japanese version of Pokemon X, Y, and Z. I'll be playing Super Smash Bros. on my 3DS. And I might as well try to beat my Pile Ball record. Oh, dang! This is hard. Tell me about it, John. I 
remember that I tried out Paddle Ball when I was a little kid, but it didn't work out pretty well. Really? Oh yeah, true story. And this is coming from someone who has been to over five conventions for the past two years. True, and for the fact that I got to meet the angry video game nerd at two of them. Again, true story, but for now, we might as well enjoy our peace and quiet time. But it wasn't. Sam! Ben! Percy! What was that? Well, we better see what all that noise is all about. Flowers, fruit, and vegetables were scattered everywhere. Oh my gosh! The station is in a fruit and vegetable muddle with the flowers! What could have caused it? It's the ram from earlier, John. He's made a meal of the entire station. Yes, but I feel the ram might have caused a little bit of confusion and delay and might be on the verge of cancelling the Festival of Flowers. You think so, Ben? I believe so, John. If that ram continues to act like this, there will be no more vegetables and flowers left on this earth. We must stop this madness before it continues to spiral out of control. How will we be able to do that? Well, Sam, we must go fight the source of all of this. But... what is the source, Ben? Oh, that's easy. Times have changed. Things are getting worse. All animals being mistreated makes us want to fart and curse. Should we blame the government or blame society? Or should we blame the images on TV? No! Blame Piga! Blame Piga! With all their bleeding little eyes, have packed their heads up full of lies. Blame Piga! Blame Piga! We need to form a full assault. It's Piga's fault. Don't blame yourself for your pet dog. He never saw coming when he was hit by that log. And your pet cat once scratched bit after bit. But what about when Blackface is a big gigantic hit? Well, blame Piga. Blame Piga. It seems that everything's gone wrong since Piga came along. Blame Piga. Blame Piga. They're not even a real company anyway. Your petfish could have been a lawyer rich and true. It's saggy bird the black a piggy on a barbecue. Should we blame the matches? Should we blame the fire? What the Doctor Who will learn a new expire? Heck no! Blame Piga! Blame Piga! With all their captive hullabaloo and their video games too! Blame Piga! Shame on Piga for... The stuff we were stuffed, the trash we were the laughter and muck must all be done. We must blame them the cause of us before somebody thinks of blaming us! Piga sucks! Um, Ben, you did know that the song you just sang has really nothing to do with anything, right? Oh yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Well, might as well save that conversation for later, Ben, because I see a lot of passengers packed in front of the door. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go check it out. Very well then. Also, before you go out there, do you have any regrets? Um, my own adventures of Phineas and Ferb, maybe? Makes sense. Right. Wish me luck! Okay, okay guys, what seems to be the trouble? We can't get into the waiting room, the passengers cried. And why not, might I assume? The ram won't let us. Everyone looked at the ram, and the ram looked at them. <laughs> now how did the ram get into the waiting room through that door? Well, what did you find out about, Ben? I think I figured out how the ram was in the waiting room. And what might that be? Well, let's face it. Since the ram has eaten up everything at the station that has been decorated and figured out how to open a door all by itself despite turning the doorknob with its mouth, I think, that can only lead to one simple conclusion. Yes? Yes? Oh my goodness! The suspense is killing me! The ram is part raptor! Wait, what? How can you tell, Ben? Well, as you can see, John, not only can it be a fast eager around the time it ate all of the decorations, but it can also figure out how to open a door by itself. So technically, since it can sense like a raptor, act like a raptor, sound like a raptor, and move like a raptor, 
This means that the ram is part raptor. Ben, that is one of the most ridiculous and yet most stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, you're right, Sam. But still, at least it's simple as one person is too stupid enough to know that this series is created by you and not me, Sam. What's his name again? Oh yeah, Z Jason Tumblr. Yeah, you explain that one. But, just to make sure I might be right, we might as well go together. Uh -huh. Right, right! But first, Sam, do you have any regrets? Well, only one, and that's Thomas's adventures of I'm in the band. Okay, what about you, John? Do you have any regrets? Um... Hector the Horrid from my series of Tommy and Trackmaster TNF? Really? You didn't like your version of Hector the Horrid in your series? Yeah! I said so in my third Q&A response video. <clears throat> True story. Guys, I think I found something. What is it? I don't think the ram is alone. What do you mean, Sam? There are three boys in there with the ram. What? Oh, looks like Sam is right, John. But what are they doing in there? Let us out, please, begged the boys. We're very sorry. Well, what do you know? The boys are the ones causing the trouble, not the ram. The ram was just making sure that they wouldn't do any more damage. We thought it would be fun, but it wasn't. We'll help put everything back. Well, it looks like you're better, because the Festival of Flowers is about to get in the way in less than 48 hours. <laughs> A few days later, the Fat Controller invited some of the engines to Maithwait, winner of the Best Dress Station Award. I'm sorry, Toby, whispered Percy. Indeed we have, Toby. Indeed we have. Then the Fat Controller made an announcement. There is one more prize for our good friend, the Ram. Here it is. I'll eat my hat if you don't like it. Um, why would the ram need a giant pumpkin? Well, you know, Sam, for something like that, I think it's best not to ask questions like that one. I ask questions a whole lot. Then, Harold landed. The wind from his blades blew the fat controller's hat off. <laughs> oh my goodness, sir! The ram ate your hat! said the Fat Controller. Shamed I wouldn't be able to eat my hat even if I had to. Oh, now it makes sense. But still, that joke is making SNL more subtle. Sorry, SNL, I didn't mean to say anything crude about that. You're an awesome show. In which, by the way, I gotta think about watching Rick and Morgie. I do hear it's pretty good. Everyone laughed, and the only sound from the ram was a contented hiccup. <laughs> well, that was fun, guys. So now that the episode is finally done, are any of you guys interested in a two-hour sleep life of Zack and Cody marathon? Guys? Sorry, Sam! Can't talk! John and I are on a giant flying car in space! Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about! Okay, fine. I'll just go and use myself with the prize of the things. Hey, John! I bet you can't get this thing up to light speed! Well, we shall see about that. <laughs> Where did that even come from? I don't know, but that is pretty cosmic. Yes, Ben. Yes, it is. Shall we fall to the ground being unconscious while pretending to be dead only to have one of us resurrect ourselves in the next episode while the other one goes to work on their own videos pretending that this car accident never happened? Yes, Ben. We shall.
following episode of Thomas' Adventures with Sam the Thomas Van Wong and Ackley Attack 4427 is brought to you in part by Taco Bell. Think outside the bun. And 7-Eleven. It's a store and more.